Hi, I'm Derek Pitts of the Franklin Institute Science Museum. Right now, you're standing in the Benjamin Franklin National Memorial. Benjamin Franklin National Memorial is one of the only national memorials in private hands and outside the city of Washington, D.C. Right now, it's located in the Franklin Institute Science Museum, and the Franklin Institute Science Museum has been part of the historical fabric of the city of Philadelphia since it was first founded in 1824. Back in 1824, the United States at that time didn't have many schools for engineering or mechanical education of any sort. So, if you wanted to build a new device, or if you wanted to invent a new device, or had invented something like this, and you needed to try to sort of get it approved by someone, or had some expert look at it, to figure out whether or not the device you've invented uh, could possibly run out of control and hurt someone, well, the Franklin Institute were, it was a place where you could find people who had these skills. Again, in the country at that time, there was no place where you could go to learn this. So, bringing it to the Franklin Institute, bringing the plans to the Franklin Institute, would allow some skilled people to have a look at your plans and tell you whether or not it was a good piece or it needed some improvement. Well, the Franklin Institute worked that way for a very long time. It was, essentially, the first meeting place in the United States for mechanical engineers and electrical engineers. And as such a place, it became a place where people brought all sorts of kinds of curiosities of machines and devices, and uh, even books of engineering and uh, engineering science and technology. So the Franklin Institute began to develop quite a collection of these objects and books. At the same time, the Franklin Institute became a research institution for the United States. Many people don't realize that the very first United States government research grant was given to the Franklin Institute in the mid-1800s to research the explosion of high-pressure steam boilers on board steamships cruising up and down the Mississippi River. This was the first research grant for the Franklin Institute, and from then on, it went on to collect other research grants provided by the United States government for work in mechanics and technology. Well, the Franklin, again, continued with this until the 20th century. Then in the early 1930s, the Board of Trustees of the Franklin Institute determined that it was uh, important to build a, a building, an edifice, a museum, in honor of Benjamin Franklin, and thus the Franklin Institute Science Museum was born. It was built on this site and opened in January of 1934. When this building opened, it was one of the earliest science museums of its type in the country. What set this science museum apart from other science museums around the country is that this was a hands-on method of science investigation. It allowed people to actually operate hands-on devices that would help them better understand how the science and technology worked. That was unique at that time, and we were actually modeled after a museum in Germany called the Deutsches Museum. Today, the Franklin Institute has one million visitors coming through its halls to walk through the park, visit the train, see the statue that we have right here, and, in their own way, become much more involved in science in a hands-on manner, so that they can become inspired, so they can satisfy their curiosity about science, and hopefully be able to take some of that science away with them.